Hello, I'm here in Portland where the government has put the barge, soon to house 500 people, currently with 100 people on it and 20 security guards. It is a prison on the sea. They are locked up between 10 at night and 7 in the morning. I've spoken to some of the people who live on the barge just now. They have no gym equipment. It was put there for the cameras, but taken away as soon as they arrived. There is no hospital or minor injury unit here on Portland. There is no adult education center here on Portland. And sometimes even people aren't able to get off the bus here in Portland. People in the community can't go and visit the barge and people on the barge can't accept donations and gifts. It seems like an incredibly cruel thing to do. And when I asked those people what support they were being given to adjust, what um, support they would be given to fill in their applications, access to their lawyers, the answer was none. I asked what their usual day was. They wake up and they eat, they go back to their rooms, they play on their phones, they eat, they have nothing to do, no activities. In the basketball court, the ball has been taken away because they class it that it could be a weapon. This is not fair treatment. This is cruel and unusual. And it is dangerous because it divides communities. It treats people differently. And do you know how they were selected to go on that barge? I was told today it was because they were the quietest, the people who were less likely to complain the people who were the most traumatized. I don't think that's how we should be running an asylum system. I don't believe that's fair. So I'm going to try and speak to more people today while I'm here, and I'm gonna try and get on that barge and see from my own eyes. We need to change in this country. We need a fair system that people who are fleeing asylum can apply to, and that communities can feel supported not where people are dumped in the middle of islands where there are no facilities. We need a better outcome. We need a better government. We need a better asylum system.